Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, let's go ahead and continue with our AWS SageMaker demo. If you guys recall, in the previous lesson, we went through our Jupyter Notebook. We um, here have been able to write our first code, if you guys remember. And then we, uh, let me show you. So if you guys recall, we defined a variable X and then a variable Y. And then we have been able to kind of perform a basic summation between X and Y. And we also explored Jupyter Notebook capabilities. And we also learned, which is really important, how to stop our instance here and how to delete as well our Notebook instance. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys right now is actually a pretty fun uh, activity. So I wanted to show you the AWS Marketplace tutorial. So let me head back to the Amazon SageMaker here. So here we are in the Amazon SageMaker homepage. And if you guys recall, on the left-hand side, I have multiple options. I can launch Studio, and that's what we're going to do in the next lesson. And actually, in the following lesson, we will learn about AWS or Amazon SageMaker Canvas as well. And that will enable us to build super powerful AI and ML models with zero coding, and essentially just with very few clicks of a button. You can also kickstart a labeling job here using the Amazon SageMaker Ground Truth. You can also instantiate a notebook instance, which is what we have done before. And we learned, of course, how to disable and stop these instances too. You can also deploy an endpoint and you can go here and simply start to make inference, kind of invoke this endpoint to generate specific predictions. And now to the fun part. If you guys scroll here to the bottom, you should be able to see AWS Marketplace. If you go ahead and click on Model Packages, you will see super powerful here, basically tools available for you. So these are the featured model packages, and you will see several essentially models that are already trained for you. They are already pre-trained, and all what you need to do is to go ahead and actually use them which is super powerful. So you don't need to go and train your machine learning model or deploy it. It's already readily available for you. And you can simply lease it and pay per use. So what you guys see here, for example, I have a passport data page detection, for example. Here, I also have a vehicle damage inspection. And this simply classifies vehicle damage images in multiple types. You can also see here that we have a license plate detection and recognition. We also have face and license plate anonymizer. And finally here, we have Gluon CV YOLO V3 object detector. And if you guys are not familiar with object detection, especially with YOLO, YOLO is a type of deep neural network. It's called You Only Look Once. And we're going to learn about deep learning in later sections of the course. So let me show you guys if I would like to explore maybe one of these models. So if you click on view product, you will see that right now, essentially a new page opened. You should be able to see here a uh, quick description. So it's telling you YOLO v3 is a powerful network for fast and accurate object detection powered by Gluon CV. And you can see here, essentially the product overview, it's telling you that given an input image, you can return object coordinates and also the category prediction as well. And if you scroll to the bottom as well, you should be able to see a bunch of um, options here. For example, you should be able to see the infrastructure pricing. So you will see pricing here per host per hour. And you will see tons of applications here kind of, um, and also you should be able to see reviews as well. So it's telling you a, a very good model, for example, and some other people said I can make inference endpoints in a relatively short period of time. And what I wanted to show you guys is, well, let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead and say, I wanted to try product demo. So if you click on Try Product Demo, basically what I see here, this is simply the interface and behind the scenes, there is already a pre-trained object detection YOLO v3 model. So there is a super powerful AI that has already been trained and it's actually running behind the scenes. All I need to do is to go ahead and actually test it out. So let's go ahead and test it out. So here I have object detection, so, and it's telling you upload an image. So if you click on upload an image, and if you head to simply our course package, so here if you go to our course in um, here, you should be able to see that I have included, oops, I actually have included here two images for you guys. So let's go ahead and test them out. Let's go ahead, maybe test and try, let's say a kitchen. So double click on it. And what you guys see here is now I'm up, the image is being uploaded and here we go, pretty powerful. 
So what you see here is that the AI model behind the scenes has been able to detect that this is a microwave and it drew a bounding box around it. It can also show here that this is an oven. Here it has also detected a knife, a bottle, a re refrigerator, for example, a sink, a chair, a chair, again, pretty incredible. It's just pretty amazing. And all of that, again, with just a bunch of few clicks, that's all what you need. So what you guys see here, this is a microwave, and you can see on the right-hand side, it's telling you that it detected that there is a microwave in the image with confidence of 98%. Just imagine how powerful that is. You can also see that it detected a chair with confidence of 97.8, and also detected a fridge of 99.02%. If you scroll to the bottom as well, you should be able to see all the different objects that have been detected in an image. And you can also click on, let's say, highlight an image, and it's going to highlight for you where it detected the knife. And here it's telling you it detected a knife here. You can also see where it detected, let's say, an oven, for example. If you select an oven, you will see that this has been detected here in an image. Pretty powerful. Let's go ahead and maybe try another image. So let's say upload an image, and maybe try another image of a scene here. Let's say, here we go. Again, pretty incredible. What you guys see here, this is a car again, and you will see the confidence of 93.7 has been able to detect pedestrians too, or person with 79.61 accurate or confidence. It detected a, bi a bicycle here and also a person riding on that bike. It also detected here a truck, which is that FedEx truck with 95% accuracy and also de detected a bus as well. Let's go ahead and check out a bunch of tags. So these are all the tags that have been, or objects that have been detected in our image. Pretty incredible. And you, will, you could be, basically see that there is a handbag here that has been detected with only 91.42. So it's not very confident. And you will see that there is, again, a handbag, actually. So uh, actually, this one here has been detected um, as a person. So however, uh, let me actually show it to you again. So if you click on handbag, okay, and you say highlight an image, and you go up, for example, Let's see if that was correct. Here we go. You guys will see that this has actually detected a handbag. It's not very confident, but it's still a correct classification as well. All right. Okay. So that's it. That's simply all I have for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I just took snapshots here of what we have done so far. In the next lesson, let's go ahead. And I wanted to show you guys a super powerful tool within Amazon SageMaker known as Amazon SageMaker Studio. Please stay tuned. Best of luck. And I will see you guys in the next lesson.